Hey everybody, welcome to a snack-tastic day trip adventure. I'm Leroy, and I am so excited for today's episode. Me and my friends May and Philip have planned a fun day trip to Mount Airy. Mount Airy is famously known as the home of Andy Griffith from The Andy Griffith Show. The town of Mayberry from the show is based off of Mount Airy. I grew up watching The Andy Griffith Show. My parents were really big fans and my grandparents. So Andy Griffith is very special to my family. I've lived in Charlotte my whole life, so I'm kind of surprised I've never been to Mount Airy before. But today I'm going to change that. So pack your bags and join me for this epic day trip. May, Philip, and I hit the road. Our first stop was at Shiloh's General Store for lunch. Shiloh's is an Amish general store. They have other locations also in Winston-Salem and Boone, North Carolina. When we walked in, we were immediately overwhelmed at everything this store had. All the jams, sauces, treats, and more. They have a special deli in the back where they make sandwiches. You fill out what you want on a form, hand it to them, and at no time at all, you get this big sandwich. It's only $5 and includes a bag of chips. It is so hard these days to find food that comes with a side. We dined outside. Yes, it was freezing. However, those sandwiches were so delicious, it distracted from the cold. So for my sandwich, I did white bread with mayo, ham, hot pepper cheese, dill pickle slices, pepper relish hot, tomatoes, onions, banana peppers, and lettuce. One of my tools got missing at the car wash. Oh, mm. you do like that sandwich was a magical thing. My favorite part of that sandwich was the pepper relish. I'm gonna have to go back for that. I also bought myself peach jalapeno jam. I'll be trying that in a separate video. Be sure to follow on Instagram at Leroy Pro Studios so you don't miss it. We got back on the road and made our way to Mount Airy. We pulled up at the Andy Griffith Museum. Tickets are only $8, plus you get deputized as a sheriff of Mayberry with a certified sticker. We explored the incredible collection of Andy Griffith memorabilia. We finished up and headed down to the main street of Mount Airy. We walked through some antique malls and then found ourselves in the mood for some sweets. We went over to Opie's Candy Shop. They have Opie's Treehouse watching over the store. May talked me into getting a caramelized moon pie. Mm. Messy, but delicious. What'd you think of Opie's Candy Shop, May? It was pretty good. I got this. It's salted caramel <laughs> moon pie. You also had a cheer wine. I had a cheer wine and it was really good because it was in a glass bottle and glass bottle beverages are superior. Aww. Next we went to Miss Angel's Heavenly Pies. The smells alone were heavenly. Philip eyed some moonshine cake balls. I have never had food infused with moonshine before. I couldn't resist. Here are the moonshine cake balls. Oh boy, XXX. It's a strong chocolate and alcohol smell, for sure. Oh man, these are messy. Whoa. Those are dangerous. <laughs> it's perfectly blended with the chocolate and the moonshine. Tastes a little alcohol, but very little. The chocolate is definitely overpowering. And as somebody who doesn't really care for chocolate, this is actually pretty darn good. That is frickin' delicious. Then it was dinner time. We dined at the Loaded Goat. The Loaded Goat is named after an episode from The Andy Griffith Show, where a goat ate a stick of dynamite. Philip was kind enough to get us fried pickles to share. They hit the spot. Mm, that's 
pretty. Seasoning and texture all play together perfectly. The hell with cake, that looks good. Wow. I ordered Barney's Rum Punch. It had dark rum, light rum, OJ, lime juice, pineapple juice, and grenadine. Mm. Ooh, that's strong. Yeah. For my meal, I got the Dynamite Burger. It had jalapenos and the Loaded Goat's signature kaboom sauce. Something you have to do on the trip, you know? My messy burger. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's a nice spice. Just the right amount of spice and flavor. After our loaded meal, we made the cold trip back to the car and headed home. Overall, Mount Airy was awesome, and we really only scratched the surface of what that place has to offer. They also have a motorcycle museum, there's a museum dedicated to Siamese twins. I mean, it just goes on. There's also so many different little shops and antique malls to check out. This is the perfect place for a day trip. My favorite snack of the day. Hmm. That's a tough one. I'm gonna actually say, and this isn't what I do often. It is a tie between the ham sandwich I had at Shiloh's and the dynamite burger from the Loaded Goat. Both were equally delicious in different ways and I'm daydreaming about eating both of them. That is my final verdict, Shiloh's General Store and the Loaded Goat. However, I will say everything was great today. I highly recommend checking out everything mentioned. I just, it was a great day trip. I hadn't done that in so long and I'd never been to Mount Airy before. Andy Griffith around every corner. You really are in the city of Mayberry. Do we miss out on any cool restaurants in Mount Airy? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, any other recommendations for day trips to places in North Carolina or South Carolina? I would love to know. Let me know. I think that's going to wrap up this episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this episode, be sure to give it a thumb, 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 thumb up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to pick out our next snack, check out our snack fearless. Link in the description below. We've got some weird things we'll try if you buy. <laughs> Check out our Snacktastic store. We've got all kinds of fun merch in there. T-shirts, mugs, and stickers galore. All with our goofy faces on them. And until next time, keep on snacking! Thanks so much for snacking with us. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Also, hit that bell button so you don't miss any Snacktastic adventures. So if you haven't already, you should check out our snack shop. Mugs, t-shirts, and aprons galore. Anything you want to find, check it out at our Snacktastic store. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next Snacktastic adventure. Woo!